today on The Sales Life. Just like a manager loads the lips of salespeople, so too does a leader load the lips of the people who follow him. You're listening to The Sales Life, one of the top 5% podcasts in the world. I'm your host, Marsh Bice. And just like the sales profession, life can be unpredictable and harsh. You know, I've had some tough moments in my life. And it was the skills that I've developed in my 24 years of selling that saved my life. Now I'll show you how to never settle and keep selling your way through life, no matter what, using five skills. Communication. Do you know what you want clearly and concisely? Curiosity. No longer living in assumptive statements, but keep asking questions. Creativity. It's being resourceful when you lack the resources. Continuous learning. See, there's more of what you don't know out there than you do know. And then productive confrontation. Probably the most important out of the five. No longer will you run from fear. You're going to run at it and realize it's not so bad. If you want to have more, do more, be more, then say no more. Let's get on with today's episode. There's a term that we use in the car business for new salespeople called load your lips. And because negotiating and overcoming objections has so many different variations, I always say every deal is like a thumbprint and they're all uniquely different in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And because of that, it would be impossible for me to teach all of that in a classroom setting before setting you loose as a salesperson. So instead we do in the moment training because a salesperson is new. They don't know how to overcome an objection. They don't know how to negotiate. So when the fight or flight kicks in and their customer says something and they don't know how to handle it, they'll come back to us and we'll load your lips some more. So as a manager, I can leverage the 24 years of experience and I can load my knowledge and all of my experiences in the moment onto that salesperson's lips, load the lips. And so the salesperson will come to me. They'll say, Hey, this is what they're telling me. So I'll load their lips. I'll tell them how to overcome it and how to steer it. And also I will tell them as well, some things to expect. Here's probably what the customer is going to say. And if they say this, then you go this way. If they say this, then you go this way. Load the lips. They go out there and they do it, or they get back on the phone and they do it. And then they report back. What's good about loading the lips is it gives the salesperson confidence. They do it on their own. And then it gives them the ability also to index it in case they need to use it in the future as well. And through the reps, we load, reps, load, reps, load, reps, load. Just like a manager loads the lips of salespeople, so too does a leader load the lips of the people who follow him. I want to read to you one of my favorite quotes from Seth Godin. And he writes, People don't believe what you tell them. They barely believe what you show them. They often believe what their friends tell them. And they always believe what they tell themselves. Leaders give them stories. They can tell themselves about future and change. Your job as a leader is to give them something different to tell themselves. Because, see, they're talking about past and present. And it hadn't been very kind to them. And you as a leader have to load their lips about change in a future. And this is not a one and done situation. This is something that you've always got to be doing. And when things go off kilter form 
and the narrative changes. They start talking about past and present and that change in future. You load them up again. Same thing. See, they're negotiating with themselves in life. It may not be a customer that's right in front of them. But the customer that they're having to overcome objections with and negotiate with is life and everything that's already happened and everything that it looks like right now. And what you've got to be able to do is you've got to keep loading the lips of your people. When the narrative changes, load them up again. See, when the narrative changes of I can't, you load them up. Yes, you can. You can do this. When the narrative changes that it's not fair, you load their lips. New game, new strategy. It's not always going to be fair. The ball is not always going to bounce your way. When the narrative changes that it's too hard, load their lips. It's supposed to be hard. Anything worthwhile is hard. This is where the opportunities come. See, most people couldn't handle hard, and so they bailed out. But look at you. You're still staying in the pocket. You're standing in the tension. You're moving forward. you got all these things that are coming at you. Yet, look at how far you've come. Look at the direction that you're going. Let's go. Loading their lips. you got to keep the lips of your people full. And you got to do it in such a way so that way they're not always going to be with you. They're not going to be around you all the time. So when they're not, their lips are so full that when things get hard, when it seems unfair, when it seems like that they can't, their lips are dripping with change in future. And so they immediately, they feel where their mind's trying to take them. It's on the cusp of it coming out of their mouth that they can't, that it's not fair, and that it's hard. But they catch it because you've loaded their lips and they change the narrative. And this is how future leaders are created. Because, see, you loaded their lips and you developed them in such a way that they now know how to load their own lips. And because they know how to load their own lips, then they begin to load the lips of other people as well. Thus, the cycle begins. That's all the time that we have today. This may be the end of the episode, but it's not the end of the road. To learn more on never settling and selling your way through life, head over to marshbice.com. That's M-A-R-S-H-B-U-I-C-E.com. And there you will find thousands of free resources from videos to blogs and, of course, podcast episodes in the bottom right is a mic that connects you to me let me know what's going on in your life and how i can also help i'm no hair but i'm all ears if you like the sales life consider subscribing to both the podcast and the youtube channel and if you love the sales life head over to your favorite app or right there on the website and leave a rating and review the stars show your appreciation and your words in the form of a review they help show your support. Remember the greatest sale that you will ever make is a sale you own you. Stay amazing. Stay in the sales life.